in this video we're going to focus on the third part which is the height tooltip if mouse out all right so just a quick note I realized that uh, the way how I draw the picture was not 100% not accurate because basically the trigger this part contains all of these codes in here. So don't worry, your code, but if you follow along, everything exists ex exactly the same. Don't need to adjust anything, it's all fine. Uh, however, later on we have just nested in here. So I just want to make a better visual representation so you have an understanding of it because it's a big chunk of code. So, all right, what we're going to do now is to hide the tooltip if mouse out. So right now, if you look at this here, we have this here, and if you mouse over, you can see here it still shows. What we want to do now is we want to hide it. So how do we hide this? Well, first of all, let's start to work on that. And this is really a brilliant thing. Um, because basically what they did is they used the opacity here. Because the CSS, we already created the opacity. So this is why this was assigned you to do first. So having that one here, we can now start to play around with that opacity. Remember, the third part is inside here. Oh, sorry, that's not what I wanted. The third part is inside here, as I showed you here. Trigger and then hide tooltip. All right. So we say hide if mouse out. Very straightforward. And in here, this is a quite simple and a brilliant way to do it. Say an if statement. We say if tooltip and then dot opacity strict zero, then we'll say here tooltip element dot style dot opacity equals zero. So basically, what we're doing here is we just create a CSS. So we have this one part here. What it does is here, it runs through here, we get the tooltip constant, so it understands here what's going on. Opacity equals zero, and then at that moment, it will start to run here. And all we do is in CSS, basically what we're using in JavaScript is a CSS command to make opacity zero, what we have here on opacity one. So basically, when we hover over, this will be show if mouse over, and here down, hide if, oh, sorry, that's not here. I have to do this. Hide if mouse out. How to hide it? Just make it 100% transparent. So opacity, if you don't know what opacity means, opacity basically means this. Opacity 1 equals 100% visible. Visible. And then opacity zero would mean 100% transparent. So instead of hiding it, you just make it fully transparent. And this is to create an effect here. So, and the reason why is just basically here that if you would hover over here, it will gradually move away and change. All right, so let's start and work on that. And when you have this one, because basically here, this is what you have to understand here. This says you get this, it will, so once we have the trigger here, we get the create tooltip, which is this constant here. We get all of this information, and then it shows here return tooltip element. And it says here constant this equals that. Basically, this equals this. So you can see here what happens. This says, okay, we're going to run through this code, and then we say, I want to get this element. But I don't know what's the element, but we know the element is the answer of this element is in this function here. So, all right, let's read this function first. We can read this here. And then we get here, all right, we get all the values. Then we return this, whatever is in here, return here. All right, so I hope that makes sense. So from there on, then we can say if tooltip opacity, everything has been set because here we created the CSS and the classes and all the elements. So once we have this, we say here return, but return is nothing. Don't return anything because we don't want to return any anything in the HTML. No, we only want to set something in CSS on zero. So now we have this. We save this. And here it can be a curly braces. All right. Oh, sorry, not curly braces, but this is a uh, parentheses. And no, not parentheses. Uh, sorry, the, the uh, dot com. I forgot the name right now, but I'll show. I will, I'll probably get up later. On. So refresh semicolon. Sorry, that's semicolon. So then. Look at this here. You can see the dot down here, and then if I move away, there we are. All right. Now it doesn't work, of course. Why? It doesn't loop through. It will only do it once. We have it has to create a loop, 
which will be afterwards because now we have at least the hiding effect now we can do here and this is a whole loop and this loop here eventually will start to work on everything so this part here will be bigger but this will be also cut in multiple chunks all right let's start and continue with that one thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.